Hey everyone, welcome back. This is Adam and in this episode we'll tackle on next topic when it comes to securing our Azure networks. This time we'll talk about Azure Firewall. Stay tuned. The only objective of this episode is talking about Azure Firewall and what is firewall in general. Because firewall is a network security service that allows customers to monitor and control both incoming and outgoing traffic. There are many types of firewalls in the market, from some simple ones which allow you to filter the traffic based on IP and protocol, just like network security groups. Or there are more advanced ones which allow you to filter the traffic based on FQDN, which is the domain name of the services, or maybe inspect the body of the request itself to prevent from any kind of unwanted traffic. And today we will talk about service from Azure to provide us with that functionality called Azure Firewall. In the last episode, we had a scenario where we had three servers and we used route tables to route the traffic from our web servers to our virtual appliance, which had a firewall installed. But the problem with this design is that we had to manage all of that infrastructure and the firewall configuration from within that virtual machine. Instead of this, we can employ Azure service called Azure Firewall. A managed service from Azure, which allows us to focus on the network configuration rather than management of the infrastructure, but also centralization of our network configuration across multiple subnets and virtual networks. And then we can decide based on our rules, which traffic should go through and which ones should be blocked. Let me show you how this works. Inside of the Azure portal, I already have my resource group set up. I have one server, which is connected to one virtual network, and I have my firewall service provisioned. From the perspective of the diagram, this looks like this. I have a virtual network, two subnets, one with our server, a route table, which redirects the traffic from the server into the firewall subnet directly to our firewall. And I can show you how this works by navigating to my virtual machine, opening the browser and navigating to my personal blog at marchak.io. When I open the link, I will be presented with information that currently I cannot connect to this domain because it is not allowed because the connectivity from this machine, from this specific IP, has currently not been allowed. There was no rule to match for marchak.io FQDN. So by default, the deny action was taken. In order to enable traffic from my virtual machine through the firewall to my domain, to my blog, I need to go back to the firewall. So I need to navigate to my resource group, open the firewall. And inside of the firewall, I need to go to the rule section to application rule collection and add a new collection. Collection is just a multiple rules combined together. So I need to give it a name, for instance, allow internet. Give it a priority, let's say 200. And action is allow because we want to enable the access to the internet with this rule. I need to give a name for the specific rule in this collection. Let's say allow marchak IO. We also need to provide a source type. We will use IP address so we can use the address space of our subnet. In this case, I will navigate back to my subnet to grab the workload SN, which is the subnet where my virtual machine is. I will copy the entire address space, paste it into the source. The protocols that I am allowing access for is HTTP at port 80, but also HTTPS traffic at port 443. And the target FQDN is marchak.io. And that's pretty much it what we need to do. Let's hit add and wait for the update of the firewall. The rule has been successfully added, so we can go back to our server and refresh the page to see my blog. And this is how simple it was to add a new rule which enabled the access to this website. So to summarize, Azure Firewall is a managed cloud-based firewall service, so-called firewall as a service, but it's still platform as a service offering. It's built with high availability in mind, and it is also highly scalable. So you don't have to worry about scaling of the service. It allows you to filter both inbound and outbound traffic by providing you with filtering rules. And it has a support for FQDN, which stands for fully qualified domain name. In simple terms, this is just the address name of our website, just like in the demo that I showed you a moment ago. And lastly, it is nicely integrated with Azure Monitor, providing you a centralized place for logging and analytics. 
All the materials for this episode can be found on my website under episode 23. Firewall is up and running, but don't go away. In the next episode, we'll be talking about how to protect our Azure networks from denial of service attacks using out-of-the-box Azure features and services. If you want to go to the next episode, simply hit icon on the side or follow the playlist. If you like my work, support the channel by subscribing, liking and commenting. And as always, see you in the next one.